Many of you face different issues while using screen copy software, some struggle with their mobile not connecting, while others experience lag. So if you're facing similar problems, there's no need to worry. As in today's video, I'll guide you step by step on how to install and set it up properly without any errors, and that too in just a few minutes. So that's enough talking for now, and let's get straight into the video. Let's roll. So first, you need to visit my website, and you'll find its link in the About section of my channel. Once you're on the website, simply search for Scrappy in the search bar and press Enter. As soon as you search, you'll see a post at the top click on it. Inside, you'll find two download links, one for 32-bit systems and one for 64-bit systems. Since my PC is 32-bit, I'll be downloading the 32-bit version, but you can choose the one that matches your system. Once the download is complete, extract the zip file, and you'll see a set of files appear just like this. After this, switch to your mobile phone and go to the main settings. From there, navigate to About Phone and tap on the build number 7 to 8 times. This will enable developer options on your device. Once developer options are enabled, go back to the settings menu and open developer options. Here, you need to enable the following two options. Now, take a USB cable and connect your phone to your PC. As soon as you do this, a pop-up will appear on your phone. In this pop-up, make sure to select transfer files as the connection mode. After this, go back to the extracted files and launch the script file. If it doesn't launch or you encounter an error, it means your PC is missing .NET Framework or Microsoft Visual C++. In that case, you'll need to download and install them separately. Otherwise, the script won't work. If your problem still isn't fixed, then you have only two options. First, you can reinstall your mobile drivers. Second, you can use this ADB installer, which will install the ADB files according to your mobile device. Using it is very simple. Just launch the tool, click on the install button, and your phone's ADB drivers will be downloaded. Once everything is set up, you'll see that your mobile screen is successfully mirrored on your PC. And as you can tell, it runs very smoothly. Now, you can play Android games on your PC without using an emulator. However, there's one limitation. This software doesn't support key mapping. This means you can only play games that work with a mouse, like Subway Surfers and Temple Run. Other games requiring keyboard controls won't work properly. It does provide some key mapping options that let you control your phone, but they don't work for gaming. You also get a few shortcut keys to make navigation easier. Overall, this software is really good, and you should definitely try it out. However, if you're looking for software that comes with built-in key mapping and allows you to play any game using a keyboard, then the video on the left is just for you. Just click on it now and we'll meet again.